just like working with dairy cattle, brown Swiss in particular. There's right around 70 total head. That's young stock and steers, and then the barn holds 26 milk cows. All have names. Lollipop, Elizabeth, Buffy, Buffet, Bouquet, Derby. Mary Dunn has worked on this dairy farm her entire life. It hasn't been an easy road for her. In her early 20s, she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, a crippling disease that affects over two million Americans. Simple everyday movements can be excruciating. Getting up and, uh, you know, even standing or getting up to do something would be like uh, if you had the burner turned on on the stove and every time that you went to move, you had to put your finger on that hot burner. After a couple times, you probably wouldn't want to put your finger on that hot burner. So then that means you're going to have to psych yourself up to do it so that you can move. Well, that's how I operate every day or every time you want to do something. Hi, Paul. But Mary needed more than gutsy courage to continue farming. She heard about agribility and soon met Paul Leverins. We first met Mary about a little over 10 years ago. You have to first incorporate your, that disability into who you are and how you're going to live your life, how you're going to do your work. For Mary, that meant a number of changes on the Dunnendale farm. She bought this ATV in order to move easily around the land. She was fitted with custom $900 orthopedic shoes that allow her to walk, in spite of having her foot fused to her ankle, an operation that made one leg inches shorter than the other. And Wisconsin Agribility helped her with a number of other improvements. We've added steps to the tractors. If you're feet no longer have any ability to actually spring or lift you. You've got to somehow lift yourself some other way. And so by adding another step or two and make so it's not so steep, then it just makes it a lot easier. We've added a bulk bin to handle feed in bulk uh, rather than lifting individual 100-pound bags or 50-pound bags and having to carry them. In a day, if I feed the cows, that would be four bags that you would have to dump into either a cart or a wheelbarrow and then take around the barn. Now you push the cart under the auger, it just runs into the cart. We've added a easy track in the milking barn to hang the individual units on so you don't have to carry them from cow to cow. Mary is one of over a thousand farmers that Wisconsin Agribility has helped since it began in 1991. The program's success is due to a strong interagency partnership. Vocational rehabilitation is focused only on people with disabilities. Extension does everybody and tries to work with folks. And Easter Seals brings the expertise of the working with an individual with a disability. Together, the three of us all have the common goal of trying to help farmers continue to farm. When physically you start to lose the ability to do that work, you start to try to struggle with who am I as a person? If I can't physically do as much work as I did before and I start to lose my physical capacity or my ability to do that work activity, does that mean I'm less of a farmer or less of a person? If we're no longer productive, then what other slot do we fit into to society? Like myself, if we were to go and pick up a nine to five job, that's okay, but if you have a bad day and, and you have to call and say, you know, I'm gonna be three hours late today because it's gonna take me that long before I can really get that I'm functional, you're only going to do that once or twice and you won't have a job. Mary's a wonderful example. Ten years later, when people said she should quit, she's still here farming. Well, I hope I can continue. Actually, nine years ago when you know I started with the agribility, we were hoping for five more years. And so um, we've done the five years and we've gone four years beyond and maybe we can do another five years. Agribility has provided over 10,000 farm assessments for farmers and ranchers with disabilities since it was established in 1991.